Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 12th annual Big Talk from Small Libraries online conference. Um, the conference where all of our presenters are from libraries with a population served or FTE of 10,000 or less. 10,000 is our cutoff for small library. Um, Big Talk from a Small Library is co-sponsored by the Nebraska Library Commission and the Association for Rural and Small Libraries. I am Krista Porter. I am the Library Development Director here at the Nebraska Library Commission, and I am your host, moderator, guide, everything for uh, the conference today. Uh, a few little housekeeping things first. Um, if you have any the conference will be recorded is being recorded as we speak so if you're unable to stay for the entire day or have to pop in and out that's fine our recordings will be available later on the previous conferences page <coughs> excuse me on our uh, conference website um, it does take about a week or so for all of that to be edited and put up but um they will be there uh soon um also, if you are looking for anything uh, for continuing education credits for attending Big Talk from Small Libraries, if you are a Nebraska library, we have a special um, CE reporting form that was put together for uh, today's conference. Uh, it is available in the emails I've sent out and is also available on our uh, FAQ page here. So if you are from Nebraska, you can use that and submit to our continuing education continuing education team here. Um, if you're not from Nebraska, um, we well, we can't issue credits for other states or other organization programs, but um, you will um, be receiving after the conference is over, if you logged in today live, you'll be receiving a thank you for attending email with a certificate attached, a PDF certificate attached that you can use to present to your organization to get your CE credits. <clears throat> I think that is good for now. All right. So as I mentioned, um, let's get back to the schedule here. There we go. Uh, Big Talk from Small Libraries is co-sponsored by the Association for Rural and Small Libraries. And with us today, we have the uh, current president, Jenny Garner. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning. Good morning. And I am going to hand over presenter control to you so you can get your uh, slides up on the screen. All right. You should see that link now. Hopefully I can remember how to do this. Hey, why isn't it tan? Krista, you might have to guide me. <clears throat> um, there should be a pop-up you saw that said that you've made a presenter and you have the uh, yeah, share. Sorry. I've got three screens and it's on the farthest one away from me. <laughs> Too many monitors. <laughs> Hopefully it will do the right one today for us. There you go, perfect. Yes, your slides are up there full screen. Excellent, well, hello. As Krista mentioned, I am Jenny Garner. I'm the current ARSL president. Um, I am also the library director in North Liberty, Iowa. So I'm just east of you guys a bit. I'm on the east side of the state. Um, I have been involved in ARSL for just over 10 years and I am truly passionate about this organization. And I hope mm -hmm. that I have some of you. I know we've got some of you on board and I'm going to show you a little bit about um, ARSL. To... So I'm not going to read the slide to you. You, um, you can see there's lots of good things going on. Um, I hope that as you read through our mission, vision, and values that you, it's apparent that ARSL is truly a community of practice um, for librarians just like us. Uh, as mentioned in the vision, our membership is made up of the most generous and talented people that I've ever met. Um, truly uh, willing to share and assist others in every way with their knowledge and resources. So about our association, we are no longer a secret. As you can see, we're over 2,600. When I joined, I think we might have had, you know, un under a thousand, I would guess, um, in the organization. So the secret's out and people are now inviting us to the table. We continue to be a vibrant and growing organization. Um, and from conference to our regular offered trainings, we are a member driven association. So folks just like us are doing the great work of the association. So why should you be a member? If you're not currently a member, don't take my word for it. Um, ask your colleagues that you know are members, find out more. 
that what they do, but let me tell you just a little bit about member benefits. These are just a few. Um, when you are a member, uh, you get discounted pricing on workshops and conference costs. Mm -hmm. The conference is probably one of the best in the world, and I would say. Um, volunteer opportunity. I highly recommend it. I have attended as often as I can, and it's yeah. it's it's for us, you know, rural and small libraries. It's our peeps. It's our people. <laughs> Um, and that comes to the volunteer opportunities. You have volunteer opportunities at conference and in many, many committees that are um, more recently developed. So it's been exciting to watch those launch and do great work across. It's it's amazing to me that we're like a well-oiled machine despite being all over the country. Um, the networking opportunities, which is one of my favorite pieces, and we'll connect through the e-list. It's a pretty busy e-list, um, but I'll tell you what, you put a question out there and you're going to have several wonderful answers um, by day's end. Professional learning opportunities like the train that we've done um, and then online tools, which is new. And I'll show you a little more about that. So we have a new advocacy center and we're very excited about it. Our advocacy, advocacy committee worked really hard on these things. Um, as we have grown, we have been invited to the table now where we used to be waving our arms up and trying to get attention. We are now um, being asked to, to be collaborate and do partnerships with lots and lots of people. They created the support request and for just for that reason to try to streamline those processes and make sure that our um, we're keeping track of all the partnerships that we have. We're often invited to be on advisory boards for grant opportunities and other wonderful initiatives. Um, so then the other thing is, is that this advocacy center page is free to everyone. We wanted it to be accessible, not just to our members, but to any library who needs us. Um, so there's all sorts of guides on there. There's a policy center um, starting. It's not, it's not launched yet, but it will be. Um, and then other great information to help you be a good advocate. I know they're going to be creating um, some videos for those purposes as well. So the work is ongoing. And then just a little bit about our membership costs, as you can see, it's a sliding due scale. So it's very accessible to members and the options are there for different types of memberships. Um, you can be a member library or you can have your individual memberships. Um, and then there's others for the nonprofits and the businesses as well. And my most exciting thing, the conference this year is in Wichita, Kansas. So right down the street from us. Um, not far at all. It's a, actually a fantastic city. I'm very excited. We get to go visit in April to see it again. Um, our board will be having a retreat there at the conference site. And um, But we're told that there's so much fun things to do and great things going on. Um, I will say the aerosol conference continues to be the best conference I've ever attended in 25 years of librarianship plus. Um, I have not, I've been to lots of conferences. Um, around, around, even around the world, um, and it's it's by far the most amazing conference. I felt the first day time I went completely welcomed, and people swooped in and grabbed me up and brought me into the fray immediately. Um, so lots of laughter, lots of fun, lots of learning and shared experiences there. We see all the common challenges among our libraries, and we're able to work together to, um, I would say it's unsurpassable. And this is just me. Um, I love connecting with other people and uh, library folks. Please feel free to reach out to me with questions about ARSL uh, or if you just want to talk libraries. I am available and willing to visit. And that's all I have for you today. And I'm excited to go learn. Let's go forth. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, oh, we have a hang on a second here. We have. Um, Ah, Janine Miller, you may know her. <laughs> uh, she says, yay, I'm the conference co-chair for ARSL this year, and our conference committee is excited to have a wonderful conference for everyone. And Janine yeah. will be able to give more details as they go. We have a theme, a really exciting theme, and it's going to be really cool. Yeah, and we're always happy whenever uh, it is. It is a conference that travels around the country. So you never know, well, you can see what's gonna be each year. Uh, and we are in here in Nebraska, specifically very happy when it is, um, as you said, right down the road from us. Uh, we are actually, for anyone who's here from Nebraska, we are offering, we will be offering, coming soon, uh, continuing education grants to attend ARSL in Wichita. 
um, $500 grants for anyone in Nebraska library staff or board members that would like to attend a little, um, help you out a little bit in getting um, to the conference since it is uh, just in driving distance from us. Um, so special, so, so we always have CE grants for attending things, but we're doing a whole special um, extra funding we've, we've put together for um, uh, attending this year's conference. Ooh, oh, here's a good question for you, Jenny. We do have, um, since it is, um, we're talking about ARSL, um, it, with, there, with there being many uh, library groups on Facebook, is there one on Facebook um, for ARSL, either um, open for members or a, a private one? Is there anything that uh, you all are doing um, Facebook-wise with Facebook groups? We do not, as far as I know, have a Facebook group. Um, we have a page. There is a Facebook page where you promote yeah. things, but not yes. as, um, yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, I think that could be something that someone could lead a charge for if they wanted to reach out and talk with us in the office. Um, but as of yet, we have not done that. Uh, the email, the e-list is extremely active and that is a members only e-list. Um, so I that don't know. The kind I, of thing you, this yeah, person is possibly thinking about. Yeah. The e-list. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. Does anybody have any other quick last minute questions for Jenny about ARSL? I invite you to um, check out their website, uh, check, uh, investigate attending the conference. Um, highly recommended. Yes. <laughs> all right. Thank you all. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jenny. All right. We